I used to live in New York, and uh, it's only four hours by flight from New York to St. Martin. And I was really an artist. I'm a self-taught artist, and in Manhattan, September, I discovered that I need to express myself because it's a, it was a beautiful sky, and it was crispy cold, and I was a little bit lonely. So you feel this beauty and sadness at the same time, and that's a contradictory emotion. So I felt like I need to express that. So I got involved. I bought some paints, and I tried, and it didn't really express what I wanted to express. So I took another class and another class, and slowly it really, the art took over my life. I became really, really engaged more and more into painting, and then New York City is really tough to live in. It's a big city, it's very inspiring, but um, I was an artist, I showed at a couple of galleries, but I felt I need a bigger space and I need a studio uh, to work in, and so we looked to uh, get out of the city and into a different environment, and we found St. Martin, and it's beautiful, and. 14 years ago, I built this studio. My sister is an artist too, and she was living in Hamburg at the time, and uh, she joined me a few years later. And we said, okay, we make an art studio here, and we become more professional about our work. That's why we're here. So, uh, and from there it started. I used to, in New York, I used to use much black and brown and darker palettes, but when you live in the Caribbean, you come and you see a lot more lighter colors, um, a lot of lighter life, a lot of easier life. So it reflects in the work. You know, you go uh, from representing the water, the sunset, the people, and I really discovered abstract. And so the main work that uh, you will see, you've seen here is the palettes. It's based on the palettes where you mix the colors because sometimes unintentionally, you see something beautiful, or because of an accident, some color falls down and it looks great. It somehow touches you. So I like that idea of having something of an intention a little bit, but also have the, the fact that it just happens. And then you discover it afterwards and see what afterwards what's good about it. So you see some work that has just dots because uh, you know sometimes the circle is like the circle of life. You have uh, a lot of colors and dots, and it's very you start from the beginning to the end, from the beginning to end. It's just like life, and it for some reason it's a very satisfying movement. Or when I travel a lot in Europe, I go with this lines square lines or straight and then bring a little organic movement in it and a touch of color that's sort of like city life for me where you go into city life so mm -hmm. i play with all sorts of different colors and feelings what makes people really happy what makes me really happy is uh, the connectedness that you can feel to other people that that really there you get some satisfaction and happiness from and that's what I do with the work also. I have one big painting and then I take an image or a part of that painting and I reflect it on another painting. So I connect the work that I do with each other, which is very gratifying for me. When you talk to me and when you learn about the work a little bit, you'll find everything connects together. I always liked the female figure and I did, uh, didn't do abstract at the beginning. And uh, <clears throat> just, uh, I like the idea of bringing something out that uh, has to do with energy and is not so easy to grab. And when you just look at sometimes colors, I happen to look at my palette where you mix the colors and I really felt even though that's a totally random thing. I did it. I put that paint there to mix. So it's my work and it's totally unintentionally and that I thought it was really beautiful in its, on itself. And then people say, well, what is this now? I said, well, this is the backside of my palette, which is where I get the inspiration from, which is sort of a funny statement to make because it means that 
life is beautiful in areas you wouldn't expect it normally to be.